How'd I change my bro but GoPro guys? I've got two people here. Why'd I change my GoPro? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Audit in Yorkshire. I am just on my way to Marshgate, HMP Doncaster. Literally just parked up and I've come across this bad boy. So we're gonna get some pictures. Literally didn't even have my cameras on either. Won't even set up. He went to. He went to. Eh? Oh, I'm just asking if you went to. I'm, I'm just letting you know I'm taking a picture of your van, but not of you two. All oh, right, that's fine then. I didn't want to cause any unnecessary attention if you had any prisoners in van. So I've just took some pictures, you know, from side to front. Just got the bottom half. So don't worry, I've not taken any of you two. All right. Just thought I'd let you know out of courtesy. I'm going up to the prison, mate. I'm going up there now. I'm, um, I do stories on, you know, different prisons in the UK. Um, I've done about 15 so far. So I've, I've literally just got here and then I saw you pulled up. But so I'll get a couple of pictures, but I'm just being nice, friendly. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. I'll probably get one front back and then I'm going, mate. All right, nice one. Yeah, none of you, don't worry. There we go. Isn't it amazing when you pull a camera out, everybody around you just starts looking? Absolutely bonkers. But yeah, literally, I was just going to have a fag before I went up. Because it's just up there. I mean, I saw a prison van come out on his dinner, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have a quick fag and I'm going to make my way up. So I will see you shortly, guys. Right, guys, I'm back. So I am walking up now. I think this is the sort of main entrance, uh, which leads up to the prison, but it's, it's um, public road publicly accessible so we're having a walk up now and uh i'll give you a shout when we get a bit closer guys right guys there's some um there's some lovely views around here i mean this is like a little bridge what goes over to prison i mean you've got like um some kind of river or a little lake or something don't know what it is but it's really cool Yes guys, so HMP Doncaster is a Category B men's private prison and it's located in Marshgate um, of Doncaster in South Yorkshire. And the prison is private, it's operated by Serco. It's, um, it's got a capacity of 1,145 inmates as of 2009 and the, jo uh, the governor is John Hewitson.
So it's classified as a local remand prison. Doncaster can hold up to 1,145 inmates as of August 2007. Considerably more than its original design. Accommodation at the prison compromises of three house blocks. Each house block has four wings and each wing can hold a maximum of 90 prisoners. Can you imagine that guys, 90 prisoners on one wing? Uh, the healthcare centre has 29 beds for inpatients um, on one floor with a further 36 beds on the lower floor for enhanced workers. Uh, the prison provides education, illiteracy, numerous uh, information technology and vocational skills, healthcare, drug and alcohol counselling and offending behaviour courses. Doncaster has links <coughs> with the local authority the local community in order to reduce the chances of former prisoners re-offending. Schemes have been set up with the local employers, landlords and other agencies to try and ensure ex-prisoners have a successful resettlement into the community. The prison also has links with Halfway House in a nearby town where prisoners can live after release as they adjust to life beyond the prison walls. I've heard of a halfway house, you know. The prison has been nicknamed Donkatraz by inmates and locals in reference to the famous Alcatraz prison in San Francisco. Uh, the prison lies between branches of the River Don, uh, the River Don Navigation and River Cheswold and appears to be on an island. So do you remember when I first came in? And you've got that little bridge over there and you've got like a little river on each side so basically once you cross that threshold there is no other way out of here apparently other than going back the way you came uh, Doncaster prison is overcrowded and frequently two prisoners are forced to share a cell designed for one well, that's not very good, is it? I'm sure, is, is that a breach of human rights? Forcing prisoners? Uh, forcing two prisoners to share a cell, what's only made for one? Surely that's a breach of human rights, that. In July 2018, 1,087 prisoners fitted into spaces designed for 738. Overcrowding leads to increased assaults on staff and other prisoners now i'm not being funny guys but something tells me they kind of bring it all on themselves i don't know what this little place is here oh it's northern power grid No parking, 24, access, 24 hours access re um, required. Yeah, it's Northern Power Grid. Don't tell me Doncatraz has just got a, a big big power line just to power prison and prison alone. We're gonna have a, we're gonna turn around and have a walk back up in a minute. Just gonna have a look round here. So the controversial death of Jordan Hullock, age. 19 died while imprisoned at Doncaster prison in 2015 Hullock had a number of physical conditions but died of meningitis his health was for, se uh, for several days so bad that staff raised concerns with senior management but little was done so there we go guys already overcrowding issues management issues healthcare issues Nottinghamshire NHS Foundation Trust was responsible for prison healthcare at the time. Hullock had a heart condition which was at first overlooked for the information was given to the prison he stated he felt unwell. He stopped eating and drinking and became dehydrated, incontinent and immobile and fell to the floor several times. It appears the prison treated Hullock's condition as psychiatric ignoring his raised body temperature and low blood pressures crazy
It was a week before a GP saw Hullock, after which he was transferred urgently to hospital where he died. When Hullock stopped communicating, his mother phoned and emailed the prison many times, but this did not help. An inquest jury found the cause of death was bacterial meningitis, pneumonia, and his heart condition. Um, the jury decided prison staff should have done more to get a GP to see Hullock earlier. The jury also stated the facts show serious failures in the medical attention given to the deceased following his collapse on the 23rd of June and prior to being seen by a doctor on the 24th of June and that was in 2015 guys. Hullock's mother um, said she wasn't informed of our child's admission to hospital. They denied us the chance to say goodbye. We cannot believe the inhumane and degrading treatment he received while in Doncaster prison. Four years on and we are still devastated and angry that we have lost our loving son. We have persisted with this battle to try and get some answers and justice, not only for Jordan losing his life, but for the days and the days of suffering he endured uh, whilst he was ridiculously poorly in HMP Doncaster. So we've got um, delivery drivers report here. We've got uh, HMP and Young Offenders Doncaster stores. Uh, so I'm going to come back to you guys with some more information. I'm just going to have a quick look round down here. Is that part of prison, guys? No. No, do you know what it is? No? Fair enough. Yeah, there's like um, a dodgy gate, like gate of some type, so where you kind of walk up. I mean, it just comes to a close. So I have no idea what this is all about, guys. I have switched to body cam because there's several people uh, knocking about watching what I'm doing and stuff so it's just for my my own protection Don't worry guys, I'm not taking pictures of people or cars before you sail, so you don't have to panic, alright?
glad I uh, glad I changed my bro but GoPro guys I've got two people here glad I changed my GoPro Are you trying to skate life out, me or what, guys? No, sorry, sorry about that, mate. Not, mate no. just, um, uh, obviously, come to have a chat with us. Oh, it's all right, don't worry about it. Uh, who am I speaking to? PC Newcomb. To? PC yeah. Newcomb? Yeah, 3700. Yeah, PC Deakin, 3720. All right, nice to meet you, chaps. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, want too. the trick question, I know you, please. Oh, no, that's yeah. fine. How are yeah. you doing, all right? Hiya, sir. How are you going on? You're, you're very friendly. Come out with a big smile on your face. <laughs> Got to be, aren't you? Are you a PC? Yeah. Of? Stop yours, please. What's your badge Three, number? 3015. 3015. Oh, wrong way, man. What's happened to your badge? It looks like it's faded. Which one, mate? This one here. This one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just how it come. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Right. I know you're busy and I know you need to talk to me, but I've got one question. Did the police issue you them? Is what, sorry? The police, do they issue you them or do you buy them yourself? Well, you, you buy them yourself sometimes for charity, aren't they? All oh, oh, right. Charity, stuff like yeah. that. So, it's personal. It's personal. I'm, a, I'm asking because you're not, you're not Union flag. Yeah. Like the proper one. Uh, they won't let you wear them on your uniform. Because no. it's not government issue. Okay. So that's all I'm, that's why I'm asking you. Yeah. So how can I help you guys? So obviously we've had a report, obviously, that there's a male in car park. Have you been to it from to prison? No, I've, I've been nowhere near prison. Right, but, okay. Well, I mean, I have, because I walked up that way, yeah, but I have which been is, up there. Which is, which is fine, obviously. Um, and obviously, there's some concerns about what you were doing, etc., etc. Oh, yeah. So we've been asked to come here, obviously, sensitive area. Just make sure everything's in order and you're all right. Oh yeah, that, that's uh, that's it. What and it's, I mean I'm not being rude, but three officers to come. We just did it. We've just been on a job all oh, together. Yeah. That's oh. why there's them two in one car and me in other. So there's nothing. Oppressive no, no. Like well, I'll, I'll, I'll say to, I'll say to you guys same thing as I said to them over there because I mean I don't know who's called you, but them lot keep giving me dirty looks. What these males over there? Yeah, yeah. I don't oh, right, I don't okay. even work here or I don't know who we are, but I, I, I basically I said to them, listen, I can see look on your face, guys. I said. You don't have to worry. I said, I'm not taking pictures of cars and I'm not taking pictures of people. Okay. I'm taking pictures of the surroundings. So, uh, the building there, uh, the rivers uh, on that side, this bit here, and the bit across the bridge. And now we're going to have a walk down there because I think it's, it's Hello, publicly right? accessible, isn't it? Just coming out. As far yeah, as I'm yeah, aware, it is, yeah. 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 I think fishermen use it. Just to take some photos and yeah. stuff. So, obviously. Oh, you, mate, you're all right. Certainly not an offence to be. Uh, you haven't robbed police for me, have you? I am, no. I'm oh. coming out, coming out to talk to you, and then someone told me that you guys had already. Yeah. Oh, I'm assuming a, someone's rang. There has been a call from yeah, yeah, prison, yeah, obviously. Oh. Corner, so. I mean, I wish you'd have rung me. I, I wish you'd have come out and spoke to me first and have told you what I was doing. I was on my way out. Oh, were you? Uh, so that's what I mean, someone's jumped gun. Ah, well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, mate. Ironically, these have beat me here from that building. These boys here have got here very fast. They came flying around that corner, and I thought, shit. What have I. I haven't got any fish, I promise you. I've not been fishing. <laughs> I'm assuming they have explained why they would, though. Not that you're doing nothing wrong. I'm I, o nice I only wear this because people take pictures of me. Be between us here. Take pictures of you? Yeah, so Why's like... That? Oh, you are, yeah. Guys over there, I saw one of them pulling the phone out trying to take a picture of me, so I put my mask on. Well, it's not a defence to have a mask on, is it? No. It, it just, it just not... raises suspicions yeah, yeah. when yeah. there's like, an area it, like it, where you are, isn't it's it? Not, it's not an offence to wear a mask, but it's also not an offence to take pictures. To take pictures. Yeah. But... Um, I'm a bit old-fashioned, mate, and um, like I'm a private guy. I like my privacy. So if I don't want someone doing something like that, yeah. I'll just cover my face. That's up. fair enough, isn't it? There's not wrong with that, is there? No, no. no. I'll leave you to it, though. Well, I advise you not to take pictures of the prison, though, ideally. Why not? Do you know how many? Do you know how many prisons I've got aerial footage of and drone oh, footage and you tell pictures me? and video? Yeah, about twelve or thirteen. Yeah. I think this is my fourteenth prison. Off the top of my head, I can't. Just a hobby, or? Yeah, I so think you just like them. Yeah, yeah. I got did. Um, you lived I, in them. No, no, I've never been to prison, mate. Um, thank, thank the Lord, I've never been to this one. I've, uh, I do like, a, I do like a little mini documentaries on <laughs> what yeah. they were like then, what they're like now, yeah. what's going on inside them. Changes in prisons, as buildings some, are, and stuff like it's that. It's got a bit of a bad reputation, this place. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I don't know what it's like now. That was like six, seven years ago. Yeah. But. Yeah. Cheers, fellas. Well, yeah. No worries, guys. I don't know who called you out, Jenny. No worries. U ultimately, we've had a call from... Must from have been control it might be, Yeah, it might be control room. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, given the fact... I mean, I, um... I got detained on... It's not been here. I think it's Bank Holiday Monday. I got detained at Nottingham, but I wasn't doing all wrong. Yeah. Just, same as this. Just doing what I'm doing here. Yeah. Copper turned up just yeah. as I had me... As I were about to set off flying. Yeah. And it got out and it's like, um... Talk to me about drones. I said before you go, before you go on, 
and start spouting all his stuff about drones. I said, I hadn't just bought it yesterday from Argos and decided to go to prison to, to get it out. I said, I do this for a living, I get paid, I get paid to do it. Not the drone bit, everything else. Um, I've got like 90 hours fly time. Um, I'm fully aware of geo zones and where you can go and where you can't go and I, I've never broken the law with it. And I never, yeah, yeah, never yeah, broken yeah. the law with it and I never would. No. I said, so before you start going, before you start going on about stuff like I said, I just thought I'd let you know. And, and he says, do you know what? He said, I'm completely happy, happy with what you've said. How long are you going to be? I said, oh, about 10 minutes. He went, I'm, I'm just going to hang about and watch you. Um, and then I'm going to go. Said, Have you got your drone on you now then? Yeah, yeah. I said, well, do you know what, mate? I, if you want to do that, you can sit and watch where I fly. Brought it back down and he said to me, I'm happy. You've broken no laws. I'm satisfied. But then his drone officer, mate, still turned up. Still detained me illegally. Still got me information legally, which is going through IOPC, so I think better carefully about what the next Wait, question hey, what comes out of hey, your mouth. I'm, well, my next question we're going to be, you're going to tell me now, <coughs> your drone's under 249 grams and you can fly near buildings and above certain people. And yeah, yeah. So you were, you're clearly not legislation. I'll be honest with you, my next question we're going to be, yeah. now we're going to ask you what your name were, but purely because I'd be quite interested to see these mini documentaries that you make that sort of. Mini documentaries? Yeah, you said to them you guys prison, that you make mini 14, documentaries. 14 prison documentaries. Yeah, I've done quite a few, yeah. Yeah, I'd be interested to see them. Are they on YouTube? Um, some of them are, yeah. Some of, some of, some How of would them. I find them? Um, do you know what I know? Them? Well, some of the ones I've seen, the way that they're edited, they're, de they're decent, aren't they? Yeah, they, yeah. Are, they are pretty good. Like. I, mean, can I, 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 I am interested Can in I ask that. you a question before I answer that? Of course. That? What, what do you do in. In, in, the, in the respect of if somebody said to you, oh yeah, this is my YouTube channel, um, and then the, would you go on and look? I don't know. Yeah. Have the police got any powers to do anything about footage like that being uploaded? No, I don't think no. he's meaning in terms I don't, of like no, a I mean, local I'm way. Interested like interested in, um, there's, there's, there's a lot of good stuff on YouTube, isn't there? Oh, I've yeah. seen several like documentaries, like all people come and like, audit like police buildings, prisons, places of interest, like you say. I'm quite interested, I think, like, this prison's fairly new. You've got somewhere like Manchester, like Strange Ways, things like that. They're all Victorian Beamer. buildings. Do you know what I mean, though? Beamer. They are quite interested, and I'm, I'm quite intrigued with stuff like that. Within, um, within five minutes of flying my drone, well, I just landed it, actually, because I, I, it, it's really big, it's Strange Ways, so I had to do drone footage from either side, yep. and I just landed it. I'd only been there ten minutes, and uh, I had armed police there. Really? Special, specialist operations there. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> the first cop I spoke to, uh, it, it was just a diver. It was like, uh, it, 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 like making out like I have to tell him and I have to show him. I said, "Well, ask me nicely, and I will." I said, what do you mean? Yeah. Say, please, sir, may I look at your drone, and I'll show you it. Well, you got Mavic. Anyone? No, I'm saying, have you got Mavic? Is it Mavic drone? No, it's a Mini Two. It's a DJI mini. one. It's a minute. Yeah, 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 DJI. Decent, aren't they? Do you, yeah. So do you know a bit about drones? I, I've got a drone. Oh, have you? What I've have got, you got? I haven't flown it for about 18 months. I've got uh, Air 2. Air 2. And there's a lad on my shift. He's, he's into that guy. They of. are. Them Air 2s make mine look like a baby. Do they? Well, I mean, if, if you know, next, if, do you ever go to Curry's? No. No. If you ever go to Curry's, fight drones, they're usually situated next to each other. Yeah. So you'll have like your Mini 2, your Mavic, your Air 2S yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that. And it works its way up. And if you look at the Mini 2, you look at the, the air. Massive it's difference. It's about, about twice, three times as big. Yeah, yeah. Huge it is. I think them, uh, them ones that you were saying you've got, they'll sell more of them because of legislation. Obviously, the uh, weight of them and stuff like that. You can do more with them, really, can't you? Yeah. I mean, good thing is about these, they're really easy to handle and they're really um, re easy to control. Yeah. And I get so many people saying, oh, well, it takes a gust of wind, I mean, it's into prison. It's nah, stable, mate. though, aren't they? It, it doesn't matter if the wind, even if the wind did blow it towards yeah. the prison. It wouldn't. It, well, they've got geo, geo fencing around them, haven't they? So. Exactly, it stopped. Yeah. So I'm glad you know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, like I say, we're not here to be funny. <laughs> we're not here to be funny, we're here. No. We have got genuine interest in what we're talking about. You've been dead right with us, so. Yeah. To be honest, mate, I've been. Um, people have been asking me to do Marshgate for quite a while now. Um, they've, they've been like, oh, you know, because I've done loads. I've been to Northumbria, I've been to. I've been to North Wales, South Wales, Cardiff and, and Wrexham and I've been all over the bloody country mate. Yeah. Um, people want me to do Belmarsh but it's a bit of a trek is Belmarsh. I'm, I'm going to go one day though. Yeah. But I thought, do you know what? Do Donny's on my doorstep pretty much. Yeah. I thought I'll go do Marshgate, do you know what I mean? Yeah, why not? But but we'll leave you to there's it, absolutely then. nothing to worry about guys. No, no, I can see that now. That's absolutely fine. 
but thank you for talking to us, it's much appreciated. It's yeah. alright, I mean, um, I've got my eyes on, but yeah. I mean, you see my t-shirt? Yes. That's, that's um, I mean, I can't really say, I don't want to give you my channel name, because I advertise it. That's fine. I advertise it on my t-shirt. Yeah. Uh, but I'm doing something a little bit different today, guys. I brought my high vis out, yes, which I don't normally do. Right. So I've got it plastic. I've got it on my back as well. Right, got you. Big crown and mini. Are you doing that to try and prevent people from calling police and stuff like that? They so they know that you're <coughs> doing doing your stuff with your videos and stuff. Then, or you won't really said much, but. Is he, is he all right? Is he a good guy? He's laid back. Is he a good guy? Yeah, he is. Yeah. You, you, two, you two seem like good guys. Uh, but the whole point of auditing is, is to get a message across um, that basically photography isn't a crime. No. Um, but I didn't... It's weird because initially I didn't start doing it for that. So when I created the YouTube channel, yeah. uh, I was going to start doing Urban Exploring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I did a couple and, and I kind of got kind of got just dragged into doing this yeah and i think i did my first prison which were leads right and i really enjoyed it yeah you know the history the notable inmates what's going on now um what it's like inside what it tells you everything yeah. if you look in right places yeah. and then at the end of a video if you get your drone up and you get some nice aerial shots and videos and stuff and it's great people love it yeah. people love to watch stuff like that yeah. And so the do thing, I. I think the thing we all just from my personal point of view, I find him extremely interesting. Yeah. You've come across. <laughs> I thought you were going to say no, no, you, you're coming man. across. You're coming across sandwiches, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. And we're, and we're trying to be the same. I think with some audiences, I think they, they try and poke the on its nest, if you like, and get a reaction. You're, you're clearly not doing that. Right. But I think sometimes it's negative. Yeah, it's a negative yeah, impact, that. isn't it? Whereas you're coming across really positive. Even I get criticism from people who watch my channel. Always going to get people. Some people say right? uh, there's a lot of people who love me. Yeah. Um, a lot of people who follow me and love me and love what I do, um, but I like to do auditing differently, and I clearly state it. I, it's, it's my symbol. It's, yeah. it's my, you know, my design. Auditing done differently, yeah. because I don't like to go out and poke me on its nest. No. But some do, don't they? That's thing, and that's and I think. Don't get me wrong. An interaction like that does go down really well. It makes you loads of money and it gets you loads of views. Yeah. But on the other instance, interactions like this go down extremely well as well. Yeah. As well, And I'll be honest with you, if not better sometimes, because it gives the average Joe public who watch what we do, yeah. it, it gives them an insight of, of the good cops yeah. what are out there. And, there is and a not lot, just there the is bad cops. cops isn't there? You're yeah. always going to get bad of everything, aren't you? Not just the bad cops. Sorry. It's all right. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry about that. It's all right. But you, you know what I mean? So, yeah. so really, it's like I'm making you guys look well. You're making yourself look good, but, but, but because you're doing your job properly, yeah. And you're not trying to, you're not trying to, um, to get me details and and and, and stuff. Because you know you can't ask for them. Well, you can, but I can say no. But you don't need to really, because no, I'll explain no. what I'm doing. I but was some, just quite interested to. Some cops will still poke and poke yeah. and poke, and then they'll try and trick you and say, oh, what did you say your name was? Yeah, well, we're not interested in Oh, what did you say your last name was? All we're interested in doing is making sure yeah. every, everything's all right here and then on your way. But I'll, on way. here, listen, I'll just say to them, me, right, listen, if you, if, if, if you have got a, that much of a suspicion, deter me on the Terrorism Act. If, if you really, if you, if, if your suspicion is really that bad, deter me on the Terrorism Act or Section 1 Appear, something like that, or Anti-Social Behaviour Order yeah. Act, something like that. Absolutely, but, I couldn't agree more. Exactly, but you guys, I don't even think you'd feel the need to do that, do you? Definitely not. Is you that what I mean? Yeah. Where is it? Right, we're going to have to shoot. Listen, it's been lovely speaking to you. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will look forward to trying to find some of your work. Yeah, can you do me a favour? Can yes. you let people know I'm here? Of course, yeah, then. Yeah, we, we will. We'll, we'll pass, pass it over. Because anyway, yeah. all I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a couple of videos of the prison from yeah. out, obviously outside. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what I'm going to do is, I know about the geo zone, I know where, where it starts, when it ends, I'm going to go back out onto the road road uh, and get my aerial shots there. Yeah, okay. If, if, you, if you can we'll just let... we pass you... it to our control yeah, yeah. that you're here and that there's no bother. If you can let your colleagues, it just saves pe wasting people's time Absolutely. coming back out. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you for talking to us again, appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an approachable guy, me. You very... If you approach me right and correctly, oh, no. I'm very approachable. Yeah. Um, Sorry about that, I was just on radio, so I think we're halfway through conversation. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Next time, guys, just 
let me know you were recording though. That's the only that that's the only thing you've done wrong. Oh, apart apart from that, that yeah. apart yeah. from that. Yeah. I think it's because we got that yeah. it, it, deep in conversation yeah, pretty yeah, quick, yeah. weren't it? Everything else, is, to, everything else yeah. is spot on, yeah. so I'd say yeah. nine out of ten for this interaction. Yeah. Anyway, nice to meet you. See you later. Alright. See you later. All right. See you later. Obviously, some staff if they're swapping shifts might not know that they've they should be handing it over really, shouldn't they? That they've uh, Spoke yeah, yeah. to you, but you know, sometimes it doesn't happen. Well, I mean, I've just had two uh, officers come over, and so they should let people know. You'd, you'd, you'd like to think they'd hand it over, but, wouldn't well, you? But so. Literally, all I'm going to do now is get a couple of pictures from right front. Yeah. And then I'm going to go. Yeah. So it, it's just a quick. Obviously, you know, you, you know your legislation quick with drone and stuff video. like that. You've, you've said it, so you, you know what you can and can't do. So I won't worry about it. You know, you know, behind my ears, mate, they're nice and dry. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, have a, have a good As, day. In other words, I'm not wet behind the ears. No, no. Yeah. no. And, and we have treated you like that, have we? We've been all right, and, you, and, and you've been... I, I, I look forward... To, can I have a look at your badge on? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for? Like, cool. I, like I said, I advertise I'll, I'll certainly have a look. Um, all right, I hope you've got me good angle. I don't do anything wrong, and I don't break any copyright laws or out no. like that, so... Brilliant. Well, nice to meet you anyway. Don't be... Um, don't be putting a privacy complaint in, will you? I ain't got time for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no, don't be that. Some people do that, and it's like, well, I got one from, uh, I won't say which prison, but the, I got a privacy complaint through. Does YouTube kind of like block your video then for a little while? No, it gives me the opportunity to do something about it, right. to edit it. So, you know, like if, if someone wasn't happy with, with certain stuff, what I would do with yeah. that. But to be fair, like, I said, like I've explained to you, and I, I hope you've all taken it on, taken it on board, um, there's thousands of people in the world what, what, what love the police and, yeah. you know, hundreds of millions of people love the police because yeah. the world couldn't function without the police. No. And me personally don't have an issue with the police. Um, it, we, we just do what we do because yeah. we can and to, to see sort of like what reactions we get and yeah. stuff. But like I said, for me, it led on to, hang on a minute, these documentaries and stuff, I'm really enjoying them. Yeah. So I just carried it on. Brilliant. Well, I hope it all goes all right in the future for you and uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, mate. I best get off anyway, because I've got a job to go to. All right, another incident. Oh, no problem. Yeah. See you later, then. You crack on. See you later, mate. Hey? I didn't see you there. Right, I'm just going to get my drone footage, guys, before I leave. I've checked the geo zone. So what I'm doing is I'm walking back in. Because if I turn right and I go up past them stores, up to the gate at the very end, uh, I'm actually out of the geo zone and I can take my drone up to um, 120 metres and get some really good footage, as opposed to doing it back down there, which is completely in the opposite direction. Obviously, remember not being able to fly over it and stuff like that, so I need to get in a really good position if I'm going to be getting some decent images. So we're going to walk back around, guys. As always, come back to you if we get any, any more interactions, and um, then I'm going to wrap it up.
just remember what I said guys it's not every interaction doesn't need to be bad right I'm, I'm not I, I enjoy what I do right I really do enjoy what I do um, but I, I just don't always feel the need as as the copper put it to poke for the hornet's nest I, I really just don't I mean you get some auditors and I get people do things in you know different ways and stuff like that but I, I just don't sometimes it, and I think it depends on my situation like I didn't feel it necessary to put the hornet's nest I really didn't because from the vibes I were getting um, from these officers you know one of them were leaning on car the other two the, the vibes I were getting were just telling me I didn't need to, to test the boundaries because they already knew the crack and they knew I knew the crack so you know what's the point uh, I've got my message across uh, I didn't give them my name my channel name's on my bloody t-shirt anyway what I wear so do you, do you know what I mean so well, I don't always wear it but sometimes I do so if I can just get it off that anyway so whether I tell them my channel name or whether they read it off my t-shirt it, it doesn't really matter do you know what I mean if, like, if I didn't have my t-shirt on then maybe I might not be moved to tell them my channel name it, it just depends it is what it is but to be fair, I think it's I think it's been a, a fair decent experience at Doncaster Marshgate. So I hope the people who have been requesting this uh, do enjoy the video. Yeah, so I'm back, guys. I've had um, an interaction with police. Uh, believe it or not, they didn't actually try and ask me the details, uh, my details. I think they would have done, uh, but they didn't. They all they all seem pretty pretty okay again i know i'm probably going to get some criticism from people who who were saying oh don't tell police out and stuff like that but the fact is i walk around with uh, my youtube channel on my t-shirt so you know people can clearly see who i am what i'm doing i then go look at it themselves uh, and what i was saying to uh, one of them earlier on about the uh, privacy complaint i actually got on one of my videos and i think uh, I know who's done it uh, hence to why I went back into the video and I covered the number plate up on the car uh, so that's that's not a big problem really uh, I did go into the prison um, which is there I did speak to one of the members of staff who basically refused to speak to me and she said you can't be in here you need to leave and I'm like well I can be in here it's a visitors entrance I am legally allowed to to walk into there as long as I'm not recording and breaking any rules which I wasn't so then a bail officer came to speak to me and I just let him know what I was doing basically just so the police don't come back out and stuff again because I'm not going to be here much longer so it's pretty pointless um, and we're kind of in a way trying to prevent tax money being wasted so why would I then need you know want them to come back out it, it just defeats the, the whole object of what I'm doing anyway but I found something interesting about about this place guys uh, I'm just going to bring it back up and then I'm going to come back to you say hello to Barney Bear yeah so basically uh, during one episode of the Channel 4's Channel 4 cookery show the F word in 2006 Gordon Ramsay cooked in Doncaster prison for its inmates he challenged prisoner Kieran Tariff uh, to an onion chopping race <laughs> which Ramsay lost uh, the chef was so impressed by, by Tariff that he offered him a job uh, at one of his restaurants as soon as he got released uh, which were back in 2007 so I think that's really good I think that is really really good of Gordon Ramsay for doing that I'm not gonna lie to you uh, we've got a couple of famous notable inmates guys uh, there could be more I'm not sure but this is just what I'm finding at the moment so we've got Prince Nazim Ahmed former boxing world champion jailed for dangerous driving we've got Baron Ahmed a member of the House of Lords 
also jail for dan uh, dangerous driving. So that's uh, that's not too good, is it? <coughs> but like I said earlier on, it has been um, it's been a fair decent experience here. I've had a few interactions, one with police and one with male officer, which to be to be honest with you, I thought went really well. Obviously the male officer, I was inside of the prison speaking to him, which is why I've not recorded it. But overall, unless uh, Doncaster's significantly, ch significantly changed, sort of like over the last 12 or 13 years, it doesn't seem or appear to be that bad of a place anymore from what people have been saying. So that's good to see. And let's hope, let's hope they do change lives and they are helping people. Because you heard it, I've said it in many other videos guys, not everybody who goes to jail is a bad person. And sometimes people just make one mistake, but it's just one mistake too many. You know, it's not like they've killed anybody or raped anybody or anything like that. I am, however, going to wrap this one up, guys. It's, it's been a good experience overall, but I've been here way longer than I uh, originally anticipated on. Wait, I think I'm just going to have to stop sort of like giving myself time limits at prisons because you just never know, you never know what's going to happen. And the proof is in the pudding. But yeah, this has been HMP Doncaster, guys. Um, if you like the video, uh, please like, comment and subscribe, guys, and hit that notification bell for future and upcoming content. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.